So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and explain how um, you find the number of protons, electrons, and neutrons from these symbols, and it's really nice and easy. And then what I'll do is I'll make up a couple of practice just for you that are in addition to this video help to make sure that you are comfortable actually creating the symbol yourself. So the first thing, just as a review, remember you don't put a line here. Make sure you're not putting a line here. This 14 represents your mass number. And remember, your mass number equals your number of protons plus your number of neutrons. The other piece of information you get from here is that 7 is your atomic number. Okay, and for this problem, this should be nitrogen. Sorry, not carbon, nitrogen. All right. So let's actually do this problem. Since my atomic number equals my number of protons, my number of protons is going to be 7. Okay, not too bad, not too crazy. For electrons, since nitrogen right here, I'm not showing any sort of charge, what that tells you is that your number of protons has to equal your number of electrons. If they were different, well, we'll deal with that a little bit in these problems right here. But since, my at, since I have an atom here, since it's not a cation, it's not positively charged, and it's not an anion, it's not negatively charged, I'm going to have the same number of protons and electrons. For neutrons, since your mass number equals protons plus neutrons, all you have to do is take 14 and subtract 7, and you get 7 for your number of neutrons. So really nice and easy. Let's look at F minus. So it's got a mass number of 19 atomic number of 9, and it's got a negative 1 charge. Remember, you don't have to put a 1 here. It's implied. So for number of protons, that's just my atomic number. So 9 here. For electrons, just kind of think about it. Use your head a little bit. If I have no charge, that would mean I have 9 electrons. Since I have a minus 1 charge, what that tells me is that I have one more electron than proton. And since I already have 9 protons, I know that. That means I need to have 10 electrons in order to have one more electron than proton. Now the last thing for neutrons, I take my mass number, subtract my atomic number from that, and I will get 10. Okay, so really not too bad. And if I asked, for example, whether this was an ion, I'm just adding in more detail, a cation, sorry, not an ion, um, an atom, my bad. If this was an atom, a cation, or an anion, for this one it would be an atom because it has no charge. Okay. For this one, since it's negatively charged, it's going to be an anion. Okay. Then for SR2+, plus, um, the, my atomic number is 38, so that tells me I have 38 protons. I have a charge of 2 plus, which means I have two more protons than electrons. So since I have 38 protons, that tells me I have 36 electrons. And then finally, for determining my number of neutrons, I need to take 88, which is my mass number, and subtract the number of protons or my atomic number from that. And I get 50. Now, since it's positively charged, we call SR a cation. because it is positively charged. Now, I'm going to create a couple of additional examples. Um, I could, if I were to create a table, I could leave the symbol space right here completely blank. And so let's say, for example, I am asking you about, I don't know, sulfur. So, um, mm, actually, I'm not going to even tell you what I'm dealing with. So all I'm going to tell you is that I've got eight protons, and I've got 10 electrons. Okay. The other piece of information that I will tell you is that my number of neutrons is, let's say, eight. Okay. So from this information, you can decide what you should put right here. So let's actually work through that. So First of all, what you can do is say, okay, what has eight protons? And if you look at the periodic table and find what has an atomic number of eight, you will find that it is oxygen. So I'm going to put oxygen right here. 
Now the atomic number needs to go here underneath, so it's going to be an 8. And then remember that above it you need to put the mass number. Now remember you can't get the mass number from the periodic table. You've got to get it from number of protons plus number of neutrons. Well, that's easy. 8 plus 8 is 16. The last thing that you need to do is find the charge. Well, if I have 10 electrons and 8 protons, what that tells me is that I've got two more electrons and protons. So if I have two more electrons, which have a negative charge, that tells me that the charge of oxygen is minus 2. Okay. And so this is an anion. I've completed the, the symbol, and I'm good to go. So that's it. All right. So on any table that I give you, I can ask for mass number, atomic number, protons, electrons, neutrons, the symbol, and then whether it's an atom, cation, or anion, and that's it. That's all that I can ask you for. So I'll give you one more practice with um, writing out the symbol. And so I'm going to come up with another one really quickly. I am going to be telling you the following information. You have 12 protons. All right. You've got 10 electrons. And then I'm going to add information over here. I'm going to tell you that your mass number, I'm going to add another column because I can do that. Your mass number is going to be, what do I want it to be? Uh, I'll make it 24. So let's find out all of this information. First of all, look at your periodic table and determine what element we're dealing with. Look up what has an atomic number of 12. And if you look up what has an atomic number of 12, what you'll find is that you're dealing with magnesium. Awesome. Now, remember, the number that goes right here underneath is going to be the atomic number, 12. The number that goes up top is 24, so you didn't even have to calculate the mass number there. Okay, so the mass number, atomic number. Then, since I have 10 electrons and 12 protons, that means I have two extra positive charges, so my charge is 2+. plus. To fill in the rest of the table for neutrons, since I have a mass number of 24, which is protons plus neutrons, all I have to do is subtract the number of protons from that, and that gives me my number of neutrons. So 12 is my number of neutrons, 24 minus 12. Then the last thing I need to do, since I have a positive charge, it is a cation, and that's it. So remember, as far as this column is concerned, if it has no charge like nitrogen, then it would be an atom. If it's a negative charge, it's an anion. And if it has a positive charge, it's a cation. And that's it.